I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So, in today's video, we are learning this chip called 8254 Programmable Interval Timer. It's a timer chip. 8254 is the bigger one. The smaller version of it is 8253, which is practically the same, except for the lack of one command called readback command. That's the additional facility 8254 has. So, even if your college is doing 8253, the video is absolutely applicable to you. 8253 is a subset of this. And uh, the whole video is the same whether you are working with 8085 or 8086. Only the instruction used to give the command, that's just one line change. Otherwise, the whole chip is independent of which processor it's working with. So, whether you're a student of any of the two processors, the video applies to you. Now, what is 8254? It's called Programmable Interval Timer. That means it's a timer chip. Okay. Now, what do you use a timer for? Come on, use your common sense. I tell you, I have set a timer for 10 seconds. What does that mean? I want a delay of 10 seconds, exactly. Timers are used to produce delays. How do they produce a delay? By counting. So, I am the mu p. This is 8254, the timer. I tell the timer, hello, go count 100. Start counting up to 100. It starts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 100. Will that take time? Of course. The duration of that time is dependent upon what count I give. Bigger the count, bigger the delay. Once the counting is over, it will come and inform me. What's the advantage? I was free throughout the counting. So, as it is, I'm not only getting a delay, but you're keeping the processor free to do other things. That's the basic idea of a timer. Timers are also called counters because they produce delay by counting. There is a small difference between a timer and a counter, which I will explain to you as I give you real world examples of where to use these timers. Then you'll understand their difference. Anyway, so 8254 has three 16-bit down counters. They're called counter 0, counter 1, counter 2. Uh, why do we have three counters? What's the point of having 16-bit counters? What's the meaning of down counters? Etc. You gotta learn that. I'll be spending good 5-7 minutes in giving you this idea because once you understand what a timer is, the architecture will just fall down like a pack of cards. It is very simple. Once you understand the concept of a timer, you'll understand what every component and every signal over here is doing instantly. Within minutes, you'll understand the architecture. Once we're done with the architecture, then we'll get into the programming part where you understand the commands. The normal command, which is the most widely used command, this is the command used to set up the timers, decide whether they are uh, BCD or binary, decide the mode, decide whether you were working with lower byte, higher byte, deciding which counter you want to use, etc. So we give that. We will not learn this only as theory. I will be showing you exam questions. So, if they say initialize so and so counter to work as a monostable multivibrator or to work as a square wave generator or as a rectangular wave generator with so and so count, etc. How do these bit, uh, bits behave? What will be 0, what will be 1 depending upon question to question. So, we will be seeing that. Then, this is more theory knowledge, it is not programming knowledge, but you still need it. Especially if you have 8254 in your syllabus, not 8253, because this is that outstanding feature of 8254. The 8253 doesn't have this. So, I will be telling you what is a readback command, what happens when you do a readback command. This is the status that you get when you give a readback command. So, that is the scope of this whole video introduction, architecture, and the programming, the commands of 8254. We are about to start. Before that, tell me, uh, you know this, right? What I've been doing. These are all introductory videos. Uh, you want to watch the whole video, you want to learn the whole subject from me, you want to come to my website. It's called www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. Yeah, it's a big name. Type halfway through and Google will take you there. Don't worry. You can also uh, download our app with the same name, Bharat Acharya Education. It's there on the Android Play Store, Google Play Store. Uh, the Apple app is in production, but it's going to take time. Uh, in the app, there are additional features. You can download videos. So, you can download and store them in your phone and watch them again and again without even using the internet. There is one more feature which we've been really appreciated for and thank you so much for all the lovely messages I've been getting on this. Uh, I have added view notes with every video. So, every video that plays below that there is a small button called view notes. Just hit that. The PDF part of my book for that particular chapter, that is for 8254 in case you are watching this video, will be available to you. So, what the, the, the feedback that students are saying is, you are not only understanding the video, the topic from the video, you are also getting the answer because in engineering, it is not easy to get answers. You have to hunt at different books, into different books to get the correct answer. I have been doing that. I have not taught the subject today. I have been teaching it since 18 years. So, these books keep getting refined, the ones that I have made. They keep getting refined every year with more and more information and more uh, simplified format. So, you will get both the video as well as the answer. Uh, that is if you use that and on the website, you will get the whole video anyway. Uh, hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.